protein purification tip, look at the pellet post lysis in order to see if the lysis was successful. If the cells broke open well, what you'll see is that the liquid, the supernatant, will be kind of yellowy and you'll have a nice tight pellet. And often it'll have these kind of like rings around it, um, like with different layers of stuff. And then on the edges, it'll be kind of shiny. Now, I'm not sure exactly what each of those layers represents, but this nice, small, tight pellet is a good sign of good lysis. If the lysis didn't work well, you'll get kind of a bigger pellet. It'll be kind of softer. Um, you won't see those rings. What you'll see um, is that the liquid's gonna be pretty clear. It's more like you just gave the cells a bath. And this is a problem because basically the point of lysis is to break cells open so that we can then purify the proteins out of them. If the cells don't break open well, then what's going to happen is our protein is still going to be trapped inside the cell. And then when we go and we take that liquid supernatant to try to purify protein out of it, there's not going to be very much in it. So you might have to optimize the lysis conditions. And unfortunately, the best way to tell if the lysis worked is at that pellet stage. But you can get a sense beforehand when you're doing the lysis. So this could be something with like sonication. You could be adding enzymes like lysozyme. You might be doing both, you might be doing freeze thaws, all sorts of different ways to break cells open. What you'll see is that if you say go do sonication, what you'll see is that you'll start out with kind of like this milky solution. And then what's gonna happen is that as it, as the, the cells break open and as you like shear up the DNA and stuff, you'll kind of see it'll get clearer. Not clear, it'll still be cloudy, but not quite as cloudy. It goes from more like milk to more like really dirty water. Um, it's one of those things that you kind of have to you kind of have to see, if you kind of like look up at the light, you'll see kind of a little darker and then a little lighter. It'll get a little waterier. It's something that you kind of have to just see and experience. You can't really tell well with pictures, sorry. Um, but you'll get a sense of it as you do more purification. Um, you wanna see it kind of get clearer and you might do more sonication until it is. Now you don't wanna like over lice your cells. You don't wanna, especially with like sonication, these mechanical methods, we don't wanna be like, um, introducing too much heat or doing things that could denature the protein because that's going to potentially cause problems with your purification. So you don't want to like go too far with the lysis, but you do want to make sure that you're breaking open all of those cells. So go ahead and look at the color of the lysis, make, uh, the lysate, um, make sure that when you're lysing it, um, that you kind of see it clear up a little, and then go ahead and do your spin down. And then remember, after your spin down, that's when you're going to look at the pellet. And so that pellet should just be like the membrane bits and that sort of thing. But if you hadn't actually um, lice the cells well, that's actually going to have the cells there. And those cells, those full cells, would still have your protein in them. So if you were to say, go and take a sample of the pellet and a sample of the supernatant to see where the protein is. Now, there are two reasons why the protein could be in that pellet. The reason why you would like want to test the pellet to see if your protein is in there is typically to see if your protein is go is insoluble. Is it going to like inclusion bodies, these like clumps, these aggregates? And if it is, it's going to end up with all those membrane bits. But if your pellet actually has the cells, then your protein is going to be in there as well. And the way that you would know the difference is by looking at that pellet and seeing, does it look like the cells actually lysed open? Do I see that nice tight pellet with those rings? Do I see this nice yellow solution? Um, or do I see a bigger, fatter um, pellet? This pellet should not be the same size as the pellet when you spun down the cells in the beginning. The pellet should be a lot smaller. And the better the lysis, the smaller, the tighter that pellet is going to be. But remember, don't overdo it on the lysis. So yeah, again, you're gonna have to like optimize the lysis conditions. I was having a bunch of trouble trying to get this, um, this protein to purify and the problem wasn't the actual purification part, it was the lysis part and trying to um, get adapt the protocol to different sonicator settings and this sort of thing, add a little more lysozyme. But at the end of the day, I was able to get it to work um, and so I've got some pure protein now. And so I just wanted to share that little tip to look at your pellet.